what's up everybody it's your girl Christy Emma and welcome back to my channel you so guys. for today's video you guys I'm gonna give you guys my 10 favorite makeup products for July these are absolutely my favorite products I use on a daily basis um, and that's why I have this flawless makeup and give you guys this face to be like I do every single day. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys go right now to that subscribe button and that bell so you are alerted when I do upload videos. because I get so many compliments on my makeup. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna use it on your face, your makeup is flawless, your makeup looks good, yeah, it's strong. So I wanna take this video for the ones who really want to get a nice makeup look for inexpensive, on the low, affordable, and still keep it fly every single day. Okay, that, guys, I just wanna show you my outfit for today. I wanna to show you that I haven't worked out in probably like three months. It's really been three months, but my waist is snatched. So let me show you guys this quick because I am super excited about this. I was like, girl, we even worked out this month. Hey, well, worked out in like three months, so look at that waist. So let me stand up and let you guys see it. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I even have little abs coming through. Yeah. I could be one of those fashion over girls. I mean, seriously, what have I been doing to get this waist stash like this? But anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you have my first favorite product for the month of July, it's been for every month, honestly, for the month of February of this year when it came out. So for the month of July, it's going to have to be the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, you guys. This is my favorite concealer. It is matte, it's perfect for oily skin. It comes in 40 shades for your foundation. 50 shades for the concealer. The color that I have, um, that I actually wear you guys on a normal basis is color 420. I would highly recommend you guys go into the store and let them match up your skin tone before purchasing this uh, foundation. It is truly amazing, especially if you have oily skin or a combination um, of oily and kind of dry skin. It is perfect for you. Okay, so along with your foundation, once you get your foundation on your face, you want to have a nice highlight. You want to have a nice glow, a nice little pop about your makeup, a nice face piece. So what I use, you guys, for my highlight, and I, just, I honestly just discovered this, and it has been amazing, an amazing product for me to use to do my highlights, um, is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Coverage Foundation, you guys. This concealer is so creamy. It is so medium to thick, but it gives me a nice full coverage underneath my eyes, and it gives me a nice highlight. Highlight. Now, you guys, when you are choosing for your highlights, I would go at least two to three shades lighter because if you get a concealer for to make a highlight to go beneath your eyes, you get it to match your foundation, you're not going to get that highlight that you want. I have gone probably about three shades lighter on this highlight here, you guys, because I did want to have a nice highlight underneath my eyes, you know, at my T-zone and, and where my chin is. This is amazing concealer. It's very popular. Um, it's relatively new. It's one of my faves, and I use it every day to create my nice highlight on my face. That's why I'm always trying to find my face. So now with that highlight, you guys, you guys want to make sure that that highlight sticks. It gotta stick, it gotta pop more. It just has to look natural, it has to set itself. So I would highly recommend you guys go to Ulta or shop the website and grab you and some of this banana powder from Rev by Revolution, you guys. I got this from Ulta. It was on sale when I got it, um, and I don't remember how much it was, but Revolution is, is a brand. I didn't know it really was a brand until I went to Ulta and checked it out. They have palettes, they have um, foundation, they have highlights, they have a lot of different products, you guys. I really haven't checked out anything else, but this banana light powder is perfect 
to pair up with your concealer to give you a nice highlight. And actually, honestly, you guys, to set and bake it because you don't want your under eye to be creasy or looking just, you know, oh, when you're going about your day. You want a nice natural look, and this banana powder is gonna set you good, girl. After you have set your under eye with that banana powder, we need to contour. We need to contour. We need to get some sculpting, some shaping on our faces. I mean, come on. You want this nice face to be, but you guys put in the work to do it. So one of my favorite contour palettes, you guys, has to be the Black Radiance Contour True Complexion Contour Palette. This is one of my favorite, you guys. It goes from light to medium and medium to dark. Medium to dark is relatively for your more melanin, 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 dark darker skin complexion and light to medium is more for your fair to your medium complexion on women so this is my favorite you guys I use it every day we have your contour we have our sculpt and we have our highlight the highlight is what I normally use for my nose I use the highlight to, um, to do underneath my brows as well or maybe at the creases in the corners of my eyes um, the sculpt I normally sculpt for the side of my cheeks to give me a nice like cut there you know a little cut there and then my contour you guys I use up over here around my forehead around my underneath my chin to give me a nice like shaping for the chin so this is one of my favorite palettes you guys black radiance also has some great foundation a great a great concealer to hide any under eyes or any marks on your face as well so definitely check us out at your local target walmart or your um department store your drugstore Good part. So another one of my favorite products, you guys, that I just discovered this year, a couple months ago, and I never really honestly used anything before I did my eyes, was Eyeshadow Primer by Urban Decay, you guys. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadow primers to help me bring out the colors. Because a lot of the, the, a lot of the palettes that I have are not pigmented, and I have to build them up. So by doing so, I add a little bit of this to my eyes, then add my foundation for a more flawless eyeshadow shadow look you guys so this is a must-have this is one of my favorites that I use again on a daily basis when I am doing my eyeshadows to bring out more of my color I got this from Ulta again it was very inexpensive I really don't know the price I will try to put the prices up above here some more for you guys to see um, and I'll also tag everything down in my description as always below so you guys will know where to get it from but this is another great favorite of mine for the month of July so we have everything we need to give a nice safe seat um, to get our face going and you know looking flawless but we need a good eyeshadow palette. Where can I find a great eyeshadow palette? Well, you guys, I just recently fell in love with Kylie Jenner's new summer collection palette. Oh my gosh, the summer vibes of this palette is so amazing. You can go anywhere from your neutrals, you know, into doing something bright and dramatic to give you the nice ultimate look. So you guys, I actually have the palette here and excuse this one right here because I dropped it on the floor and it broke. So that means I'm going to have to repurchase that shadow to add a mirror. But you guys, I love how summery and how BT these colors are. You can definitely pair up any of your neutral colors here. They're very pigmented. That's the thing, you guys. These colors are very pigmented, and I love how they are. Even the metallics, you know, the, the subtle colors, they're just, this is just an amazing palette, and I absolutely love it. So if you guys have not checked out Kylie Jenner's Summer Collection under the sea, make sure you guys go and check it out. My brows are everything, as you guys already know. I get so many compliments on these brows. Yes! And you know when the gay guys are like, yes, girl, those brows are on point. You do some good brows. So you guys, in order to keep my brows intact and keep them flawless, I use to conceal and shape them my MAC NC45 concealer, you guys. This is one of the best concealers that I used as far as shaping my eyebrows, you know, applying it to add on my foundation, to add on my um, eyeshadow to my eyes. This is one of my favorite, favorite products, as you can see. <laughs> NC45 Studio 6 on my Mac, you guys. If you have not tried this concealer, definitely go out and get it today. You will love it to death. You will be all over obsessed with this. This is amazing. I would not use this concealer for anything else but to do your brows and to do a nice eyeshadow look. Because of how thick and creamy it is, it will not act appropriately if you add it on before foundation as a concealer. 
you know, because it's just too thick. You know, you don't want creases under your eye. But this right here is perfect for your brows or for your eyes before you do an eyeshadow look. Even after adding all of that to my face, you guys, I still have oily skin. I am consistently, consistent, consistently always looking for great products to help out with my oily skin because when I do wear makeup, I do not, and I'm going out my day, I do not want to have my face looking oily and just ugh all day long. So to prevent that, you guys, take all the necessary steps to make sure I'm doing my makeup the proper way, adding setting powders, um, using products that are for matte, you know, that are matte for my oily skin to prevent anything from happening. And one of those products would have to be my MAC Fix Matte Setting Spray. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it's almost gone, as you can see, for an oily skin. If you have oily skin, you want to control your oils throughout your day, this setting powder right here is going to get you through your day, I promise. We're always looking for that next, that best, nexus to best highlighter for the face, whether we're trying to highlight our cheeks, highlight our underbrows, highlight our nose, highlight whatever. You want to look flawless and you want your face to have a nice glow about yourself. So for me, you guys, I have discovered one of the best highlighters, inexpensive, but best highlighters out here thus far. And that would have to be the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlights. You guys don't understand. When I swapped this in the store on my hands, I was just so shocked by how pigmented this color was. I'm actually going to show you guys right now how pigmented this highlighter is. First of all, it's very creamy. It's very creamy, you guys. It's not like your average highlighter. It's not dusty. It's not going to fly away. It's very creamy, so when you're putting it on your brush, it just lays on very nicely and gives you that nice highlight. And here it is swapped on my hand. Like, how pretty is that, you guys? How gorgeous is that? Very, very nice. It lays on very nice gold color. And they had a lot of different colors, you guys, as well. But this one, I had to get. Right, okay, so my last favorite <laughs> on my top 10 big makeup product that I would highly recommend would have to be Pro Lips. I'm all about a lip, you guys, and honestly, I had a favorite red matte lipstick. It was the Ruby Woo. I will try to put it up here for you guys. Ruby Woo, Ruby Woo matte lipstick, but unfortunately, I broke it. It was this pretty bright red matte lipstick that I would rock every single day if I'm doing a makeup look, my natural makeup look, and it was one of my favorite, you guys, but unfortunately, I have to go and purchase that again, but I've also fell in love with the... Stella lip gloss as well, let's take lip gloss. And so this is really good, it's more of a natural color, but they have so many different shades. And right now, you guys, Stella has it where you can purchase, I want to say it's three for 30 for um, lipstick, um, what is it, lipstick, what is that? Lipstick week? I'm, I'm going to tag it up here, you guys. Lipstick something. <laughs> or you can purchase um, any of their lipsticks or any of their glosses and everything. Um, three of them for 30 But they have so many great vibes and colors. This lipstick alone is just... It looks so good. It, it lasts so long on my lips. I mean, even after me eating, you guys, it's still on my lips. Um, it's not too thick. It's not too watery, it's just the right, the right neutral, you know, for those everyday looks, you know. Um, this is one of my favorite products, so. Yeah, you guys, I think I checked them out. They are really good products, really good stuff. I really, really love their products, so. All right, you guys, that concludes my top 10 favorite makeup products for the month of July. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys drop it down below in my comments. Down below, drop it down below in my comments. <laughs> Um, and also, you guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys go right now. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to my channel, you guys. And click subscribe and hit that bell and the notification so you are notified when I do upload new videos. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>